Great, so we're here with Anton, uh, ADC 2022 at the Soft Tube stand. How's yes. it going, Anton? It's going great. How are you? Great, I'm fine, thank you. I'm yeah. good. Uh, yeah, what have Soft Tube got to show at the show this year? So, what we've got here is basically the uh, Console One solution. Mm -hmm. It's the Console One, console one uh, and the Console One fader. Um, and what it does, it's, uh, it, it communicates with our plugins, uh, with the Console One plugin loaded here, in, uh, for instance, in this case, in uh, Studio One. Uh -huh. So we got the plugin loaded on all tracks, and here you see the uh, number three, it's the drums. Um, so what it actually enables you to do is to uh, control the plugin uh, via the hardware, so you get the feel of it in a, you know, the old, this way of handling yeah. it. Is that uh, specifically designed with the drum synth? Is that like the drum synth hardware specifically? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's just called drums because it's that track. You have the bass, you have uh, all the tracks here, selectable. Oh, nice, and it maps, yeah. across, maps across them all. Yeah, so this is the classical strip way of thinking. So you have, the, uh, you have some input filters and you have the shape section. It's a gate, uh, equalizer, compressor and uh, output distortion. Excellent. And on this one you can kind of, yeah. So what it enables you to do is to access uh, all the functionality via this software instead of looking into the, into the GUI of the plugin itself. Mm -hmm. So here you have the, yeah. This is what it does. This is the strip. So if I enable it, I can control the shape section by yeah, turning these knobs instead. And here you can see it start working. Uh, um, you get a nice looking FFT here to see what the EQ does to your signal. And a compressor, of course. Nice. And so is this, this is like a suite of plugins to produce, to produce your tracks with? Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, or, uh, what it does, it loads different sections in, so... Um, uh, for, for, in this instance, we have the, this, the 4000 E strip loaded. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could, for instance, you could change the compressor here. Uh, and you get a load of different choices by pressing, I think, these buttons. Yes. Uh, and you can load it. And we also have a lot of the UED stuff here that you can load in. Uh, oh, that's great. So you can exchange the compressor to something else, like for this. And is this monitor? Some plugins. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Are they all modeled? How have they been modeled? How have those sounds been? Depends. Replicated? Depends. Uh, if, it, if we do it ourselves, you model them. I don't know. I think we have an instance of. Uh, yeah, we have a model of the germanium compressor we did ourselves here. Nice. For instance. Yeah. Great, right. and, and what's output? Is this uh, outputting from your laptop here? Yeah, this on only monitors screen. what the plugin does or sees. Uh -huh. So it's actually this plugin that does all the processing, all nice. the meters and everything. This just listens. This is just controlling what, it goes, what is going on there. Great, right. and so is this, who is this? Is this aimed at like producers or like live yeah. sound? Yeah, like producers and master engineers, yeah. um, audio engineers and mastering technicians. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for showing us that today. Man, looks really good. Thank you. Awesome. Nice to see you.